right, friends, so good morning. I am currently getting ready for work today. I am sorry I wasn't talking at the beginning of this video. My man was still sleeping and I did not want to be very loud, but he just left to work right now. So girl, y'all gonna hear me start talking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is way too early to be all hyper and energetic, but it is Saturday. It is the last day that I work of the week. And then I have the next three days off until I go back on Wednesday. So I am stoked and I am pumped. Only working one day though. I can definitely get through it. It is currently 546 and I like to leave out of my house around 610 to 615. But I did remember it was a weekend, which means that the roads are going to be like less packed so i might get out of here around like the 6 20 o'clock hour because i feel like that's also playing it very safe um on a saturday okay next i'm going in with some powder foundation my absolute fave it's from fenty but sis she's so good especially throughout a long 12 hour shift Next, we're gonna give our cheeks some color with this bronzer here. And y'all, I love this. Mm -mm -mm. If there is one contour that I really recommend, it's this one from Fenty, guys. Like, I've tried a lot, especially because I'm very picky with like how well it blends. And y'all, this Fenty one has not disappointed. And honestly, guys, I do feel like I need to do a less like heavy makeup look underneath my mask, only because yes, I do sweat throughout my shift and yes, my makeup does come off with my mask. So do I think like my makeup routine is the most effective? No, because my makeup does not stay for the entire 12 hour shift. So I do feel like I need to come up with a less cakey makeup routine, especially for work because at the end of the day, like this is sweating. Like I am sweating my makeup off. So maybe I need to add more setting spray at the end of my makeup routine, but guys, this one is not here to stay. But if you guys do have some like makeup tips or like certain makeup brands that you guys really recommend a nurse buying and wearing because you feel like it's very airy and light on your skin, please let a girl know. Hey guys, so this technique that I have been using from TikTok is literally my saving grace, but look at how long my lashes look just from curling it that way. And then this mascara by Essence, and I got it from Ulta, is literally the best. I heard that waterproof lets your eyelashes stay elevated and lifted throughout the day. And with my lashes, I struggle with them going low and down throughout my entire day because they're naturally very straight. So what I've learned recently is that if you use waterproof mascara, it helps keep your lashes curled all day. And I've been seeing it do very good with me. All right, y'all. It is currently 6.08 and I legit have to go very soon. So I am going to rush through the rest of this vlog. And then the last bit here is going to be some lipstick. Okay, put some earrings in. Lotion, deodorant, I'm gonna run and get on. And then let's get out of here. Guys, look at my cute little dog. Good morning. All right, girlfriend, it's time to go and outside. I, oh. oh, she bumped into herself. Okay, there you go, go ahead. All right, I take this dog out every single morning to go pee and poo. And then what I'll do is grab her water bowl, fill it up really quickly. And I feel really bad because we have to leave her in a kennel, but that's the only way that works. So I like to take her little water bowl. So she has her whole little area set up while we're not here. I'm gonna get all of my stuff together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it all out of the refrigerator and then pack it up inside of my lunch bag. Love it so much because there's so much room in here. Right now I just have this glass container so that way when I get to work, I can have my oatmeal and then a banana as well. I do have some baked hot Cheetos in here that I packed yesterday just if I need a little snack throughout my shift. And then some cashews, of course. And you already know I have to bring and pack my vitamins in here. All right, y'all, so I am already dressed for my work day. This is how I am looking. 
I feel like I look a little tired today, if I'm being honest. Like, it was just a fast morning, especially with recording. So, heater is turned off, turning off all my lights. I do bring this nice, big, fluffy jacket with me and my backpack right here. So I am in my car already. We are waiting for it to warm up. I don't have much gas to shoot, so I'll get that after work. I'm sure I'll be okay. But I have everything with me and I'm just waiting for this car to warm up. It's really funny because normally it's my man that comes out here and warms up my car for me. And every time we work the same days, I'm always running so much more behind without his help. Like, <laughs> and I need to get it together. I woke up at a good 5.10 today to record this vlog. But every day, even without recording a vlog, I need to wake up at five because it's just so rushy every single morning. And yeah, that's just a big tip, y'all. Get prepared the day before so you're not running around like me the day of. All right, friends, so I am just getting to work right now. I like parking on the very top of the parking garage. And the reason for that is because when I used to park down in the normal parking spots, like across the hospital, I had my Honda park down there when I was first starting to work here. And my Cadillac converter actually got stolen. And I had to pay like $600 out of my own pocket to fix it. The hospital didn't do anything again. They were not liable for it because it just happened too often where I work, which is really ridiculous. So that's that. I try my hardest just to consistently park in a parking garage so that way my new car does not get messed with. But it is currently 644 and I typically get down a good 650 to go clock in. And the reason for that is because we can't clock in until three minutes after 650. So 653 and for me, I'm like, why am I gonna be waiting by the clock and not like necessarily clocking in yet? You know what I'm saying? So I actually put these like windshield things right here because I feel like everyone is legit parking next to me who I work with and this is just so funny. So I am going to start unloading my car and getting ready to go inside. I feel very exhausted today. I'm not gonna lie. I feel really tired and kind of foggy. I didn't go to sleep until I want to say like 11:30 last night. So I'm on a good five and a half hours of sleep. Hopefully my coffee will wake me up eventually and it will be a good day. But with all that being said, I will catch you guys after work. It's so funny because as nurses, we legit carry so much stuff every single day that we work. But but guys, getting a carabiner has saved my life. Legit, I carry my water bottles on it and then my lunch box and it's perfect. All right friends, so I am officially at work. I needed to use the restroom so bad for some reason right when I got it from my car. So I arrived to the restroom right now. I am going to go clock in and get to work. So with all of that being said, I do not plan on recording throughout my actual nursing day. But after my day is over, I will go ahead and touch bases with you guys and letting you guys know how my day was. Bye friends, I'll see y'all soon. Hello everyone, it is officially 1945 and I am all done with work for the day. Thank the good Lord Jesus. I was counting down the hours since the beginning of my shift. But to update you guys on how my day actually went, it was pretty good for the most part. I could definitely say that switching from night shift to day shift is a completely different world. I am still adjusting to it. Everything is so much faster paced. You're speaking to so much more people and there's just a lot more tasks to complete before you're discharging all of your patients. And then when you discharge all of your patients, you're getting new admissions from labor and delivery consistently, y'all. So it was a very busy day. Thank God I stayed within my ratio. I did start off with three couplets, which is mom and baby, so six patients total. And and then I was the first nurse to get an admission. So right as I got to shift, got rapport, I did get hit with the new admin right off the bat, which is always a little harder to start your day off with because you're trying to look up all of your patient's information. So you really wanna just kind of get a clinical picture of your patient before they get to you but you just got report on all of these new patients that you've never seen nor met. So it's a lot to juggle, especially when that new patient is very unstable 
or something's just going on with that new patient. So thankfully my new patient was very good to me. However, my patients who were there from the start of my shift were the ones that were not so good, needless to say. I was struggling with one of my C-section moms just to urinate after I pulled the Foley. She just could not pee for the life of her. So here I was doing so many different interventions, having her blow through a straw in a cup of water, having her smell some essential oils, running the faucet, running the water, until I told her, mama, you have to pee for me because if you do not, it could increase your risk of bleeding, thus leading to a hemorrhage. And we do not want that on our ship today, okay? So you got two options, either pee inside of this hat or we got a straight cath you. She heard the word straight cath and she's like, I think I got a pee now. And let me tell y'all, it's so funny because the moment your patient hears straight catheterization, they're like, I'm peeing. And she thankfully was able to void for me. I was just chasing that bladder all day. But with all of that being said, guys, my camera memory keeps showing that it is full. So I constantly have to keep deleting little clips that I do not want. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right now. I'm going to drive home, get some dinner in my belly, get a good shower, and then get some good sleep because I want to wake up bright and early on my Sunday to be very productive and hopefully get this video out to all of you guys. So I love y'all so so much and I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog today. Again if y'all have any video topic ideas for me please drop them down below. I will be writing down all of your guys' ideas. So just like always friends have a beautiful blessed rest of guys' days and weeks and until next time bye y'all.